What's up dudes, it's ET13 and welcome back to another news video. And today we are doing a Bumblebee news slash Transformers. So, Paramount has officially came out and said that Bumblebee is not a sequel or prequel to the Michael Bay Transformers. Now, to this, some people were surprised, but most people were filled with joy. However, they... Some people have argued that these were connected based on the face and based on the ending where Bumblebee, I guess, became a Camaro. However, here's why I think they did that. They did that because Transformers The Last Night was not financially successful. In, this is Paramount's biggest franchise. They really don't have anything else that could pull it off. So they said, listen, if Bumblebee flops, we just write it off as it's a prequel to the Michael Bay Transformers. And uh, we don't have to worry about it. We can reboot the franchise in five years and it's over. And that's what they did. Now, that's why at first they were like, ooh, this is a sequel prequel thing. It's not, it's connected. But when it came over to China... And as soon as it was making money, that's why they came out and said, it's a reboot. None of this has to do with Michael Bay's Transformers. And I really like the idea that it's not connected, mainly because it would have ruined the timeline so badly that there's no way to bring it back, mainly because the Transformers landed 30 years before they should have. 30 or 40, I don't remember. But, uh, yeah. I really am happy that they did this because Bumblebee was amazing and he deserves a nice, good movie. And now, what they could do is they could do a Bumblebee sequel and maybe a third one and then start doing other Transformers. They could even, down the road, now I know Netflix is doing their Cybertronian War, but they could go and do a prequel to Bumblebee being the Cybertronian Wars and make a trilogy. That would be awesome, really. And then they could then bring it back to Earth and then do what we all know as what Michael Bay did, except more of a G1 look. Which I think is awesome, and I couldn't wait. F I can't wait for Megatron and all the Decepticons to appear. Really, this is. I'm super excited now because I grew up on Transformers, and I really enjoyed Generation One. And with what Michael Bay did, I didn't. I didn't like as much, but Bumblebee really gave me nostalgia. So, comment down below what your thoughts of this are. Are you excited to see a new Transformers series? Are you a little nervous? Uh, now that Michael Bay's out of it, are you, do you believe it'll go in a better direction instead of just product placement? I mean, if you haven't seen Bumblebee yet, it's a complete 180 from every other Transformers movie. And the only one I can really say that competes with it is the 1986 animated movie but that's because i grew up on it so yeah comment down below what your thoughts of this are are you excited are you nervous can you wait for a bumblebee 2 or are you just so excited that you want it tomorrow uh i know this wasn't godzilla but i need to broaden my uh spectrum of news and i know i'm a little late but I felt like I should put this out for you guys. So, have a good day. And as always, don't let King Kong make a monkey out of you, G-Fans. See ya.